Hello and welcome back to Fortune. I've got another exciting episode here for you today, guys. Uh, well, for once, I'm not hosting this match. In fact, I'm not even under my same name. No one has recognized me, which probably means I'm not going to get focused out for once. So we'll uh, see what kind of cheesy shenanigans we can get away with here. In fact, let me go ahead and start this off with... Hmm. You guys want to see something... Let's go with something that normally never works. Let's go with... Let's try shotguns? Let's try shotguns. We're we'll gonna build a lot of shotguns and see just how much damage we can deal with that. Something that uh, certainly never gets uh, to work anywhere else. Alright, so I wanna build this here, like so. There we are. Yes. Get that nice two and a half so we can uh, have it built right up front there. Ah, <sighs> let's see. Make ourselves a bit of a uh, strange looking front so I can line it entirely with shotguns. Alright. Need to have that up there. I also need to work on a uh, upgrade facility. I'll put that back here. Looks like we are the Warthog, which means we're gonna have bonus to heavy weapons, but it looks like, well, we're not gonna have any heavy weapons. They won't have to worry about those getting in the way. Alright. I want this like so. There's a two and a half right there. Yes. Alright. Gonna have this, uh, disconnected base just so I can support these additional strange placement of weapons how about there All right, this needs to be removed to have this rebuilt back here and there we go that's two here Oh jeez, this is turning into a mess and a half. Alright, I can build another one over here as well. Let me get a rope to hold this somewhat back. I'm already leaning a lot on this front. But we are almost actually ready to open fire here. Need to upgrade these. So our opponents in these maps always go for the uh, the heavier weapons when they don't have anyone to focus down is I mean look at this we got this here this here it's all very similar let's take advantage of all of this all this freedom um, mortars yeah no it's okay I like mortars they just they have their time in their place neither of which are here now on this map I really need to, to make a build that revolves around using uh, shotguns, because this is just an embarrassing amount of grossness. I mean, it works, it's stable, but it looks so abysmal. Alright, let's try to break through the front here. I need to aim higher. Third shot right there. There's a break. Ooh. He needs to build he needs to rebuild that real quick. They're breaking his metal, guys. Alright, let's get some more metal on us. Let's prepare to take some hits. Oh ho ho. We're starting to break things behind it too. Shotguns, they don't really hurt that much, but they are very expensive to defend against. 
the proper solution is of course slanted metal so that you don't have to keep rebuilding the metal either slanted metal or well energy shields but my opponent here my target has none of these things so he's just going to be spending all of his energy and not getting the results he's looking for oh almost broke him uh, unfortunately his teammate has finally gotten out the heavy weapons which makes my life difficult hmm. well, someone's activating that Oh, this is going to be a pain. Uh, I need more energy in order to keep this up. And I'm spending it on firing and not the and not a uh, defense. All right. <laughs> From behind. All right. I need to worry about this a lot now. The good thing is, because this is disconnected from my base, I don't have a whole lot of recoil here. And this is going to look nasty, but it'll function. Remove that. What I really need is my teammates to... Jeez, I'm relying on my teammates again. That's not good. That's not good at all. take out his uh, energy. No, it's not going to happen. A little bit higher. There it is. That's the shot I'm looking for. I also hit something in here. I wonder what that is. Whatever it is, it appears that he's not continuing up the fire. But we did just remove his uh, remove his protections on that, so that's nice for me. Not so nice for him. Alright, let's actually do a second rope over here. There we go. We're really leaning a lot here. Right, another one of these goes here. Thank you. Across. Yes. I actually think I'm locking him down here. With the destruction of those turbines, he doesn't have a whole lot left. And he's spending what metal he has mostly on repairs. Because I keep damaging so much of his metal. Like, his metal is not having a chance to repair here. Which is, of course, in my benefit. Alright, he's opening. We damaged it, but not enough. Alright. Let's add this. He actually damaged me there as well. Oh, we're almost enough to... We've almost got enough shotgun to break through this. Why are you now open? Oh, because you don't have a door. Explain that. I like how my one shotgun here has just been exposed this whole time. Hasn't been, uh, hasn't had an opportunity to fire. Oh, oh! That's one down. First target has been obliterated. Ha ha ha! His heavy weapon was exposed for a moment there, and it took a pretty heavy hit. It'll keep it repairing for a moment, but he does have two of them. What I am worried about is those uh, swarm missiles off of bottom base. He's been pretty suppressed so far, but we can just keep going back and forth with these shotguns now. Yes. Look at that. Everything is open. Breaking. You can't 
quite rebuild faster than this. And that's it. He's gone. He did take out one of my shotguns, but it was totally worth some. Last guy has swarm missiles, so I'm not gonna bother using a. Not gonna bother putting an energy shield back on that. To sell this. Don't know what my teammate is doing, but it's not gonna work. Oh, I didn't get the sniper. Well, you know, that is one way to have a. Uh, to have all of my stuff removed. Um, so I kind of need that. So what I'm going to do is build an energy shield back here. And then rebuild these. There we go. It appears the enemy has been disconnected from his resource production. Yes, I no longer have energy production. Hmm, what a surprise. Ah, I don't know what's going on here. It appears my teammates are attempting to troll me, so I'm just gonna, gonna do one of these. There you go. Uh, yeah, low key in the way. Um, I'm not exactly building a whole lot above my base here. Um, you probably wonder why you've got a base built up so high there. You know, I have a solution to you here. Ah, welcome to forts, guys. The teammates are trolls and... Oh, have to worry more about your team than the enemy. There we go. You shouldn't be able to build out far enough to get in the way. I can return focus to the target. Alright, let's do this. Solve that problem. Move on to the next. I just feel so bad for this last guy. Look at that. This is base is just falling apart here. We take out a sniper, we took out a sniper. Oh, he's got a backup sniper too. Oh boy. This guy's gonna go away, so he doesn't have much oh or, or not. Uh, it appears that the enemy has uh, mis-aimed, and with the last shot he was going to fire, has missed. Simply failed to hit my teammate here. I don't think my teammate cares. He's done, he's had enough of this nonsense, and frankly I don't blame him. Come on, break it. Boom! Shotgun score another eradication. In what has been probably the... Uh, most wonky vanilla game of forts I've played in a very long time. Let's let's not do this again, guys. Please, for the love of God, why? But if you guys like seeing me get wrecked and trolled in the weirdest ways possible, do let me know in the comments below. And as always, make sure to hit that subscribe button and little bell to see more content just like this. But for now, have a good one, everyone, and I'll see you guys next time.